Honestly, if they're paying customers, that's fine by me. Or we could execute them. Wanna make 10 bucks? Today should be a truly magical experience. We're gonna build a tavern together, and I'm already really liking what I'm seeing. First things first, the exciting nickname part of things. The next thing we need to do is turn our graphics up to an acceptable level, and as much as I like the music, it's gotta go. This game really speaks to me on a deeper level, in wine is wisdom. My tavern, my rules. Dungeon is not an exception. Endless journey mode it is because we're going for a record kill streak, which happens to come with a lot of options, most of which I don't even understand, so we're just kinda gonna go like this. Earthquake frequency. A tavern just isn't the same without frequent earthquakes. Welcome to Endless Journey. You are free to do anything and just keep playing. Remember that if your tavern goes under, you will still be fired. Good luck. Good luck firing me if the tavern goes under. And all I have to work with is 150,000 gold plus a tavern the size of Europe. Seems to me a tavern needs a bar. But a good tavern needs a lot of bars. And probably also some staff to do the work. Bartenders. We get a choice. We're obviously going to go for the least expensive of the options. We seem to have a rap problem. Is there something we can do about these? That works pretty well. I just hope I can do the same thing with my patrons. How many bars do we have? There are no available applicants. Well, that doesn't seem like a good idea. To be fair, I've already hired three bartenders and we have no patrons whatsoever. Oh, we're open though. Not sure how that happened. Our very first customer. A shady man wearing a shady hood. Wizard. Moving to a bar to grab a drink. Arrived with 72 gold. I like how we get this information. He has all the selection in the world. I guess we should probably add a few other things. I guess a bathroom is probably pretty important to a tavern. Now of course, we have to place the bathroom at the far end of the establishment, that way everyone gets their steps in for the day. I'm very worried about their health. Probably could have spaced that out a little bit better. This guy's wearing a helmet, so they can't really be that bright. Hey, we got our first earthquake. Wonder what that means. Bar is broken down, bar is broken down, bar is broken down. You suffered 2502 earthquake damage. Well, not only did they break down, they lit on fire. Luckily I have two spares, so we're not going to worry about that just yet. Working my way down this very convenient list, we're going to go with the staff room, which is going to be small and unexciting, and just like them. Why did we let a hunchback into our tavern? Oh. Honestly, if they're paying customers, that's fine by me. Or we could execute them. Want to make 10 bucks? The knight is waiting for gymnasium. Yeah, you're in a tavern, my friend. I'm not sure those two are very similar. Mm, as long as we get two bars going, we probably don't need to get a handyman. Already the mail is piling up and we all know how much I love that. Department of Health? Yeah, this is going to be a really productive game if there's a Department of Health. Mind if I pay a visit? I heard that your tavern is bustling with good stuff. If you know what I mean. And I got super curious. Mind if I visit? Yeah, maybe some other time. As much fun as that sounds. Next on our list of descending order, a kitchen. Everyone likes to eat food when they drink. That's not a problem. That was all very straightforward. It's a shame I didn't get the rat in the kitchen. I feel like that's big enough to be served. That's about the size of a small turkey. And it's also a wizard because it can go straight through the walls. Well, take that health department. It is already March and there's been zero deaths yet. So I'm actually doing pretty well for myself. Those actually take up a lot of room. So I'm not going to be placing any more of those. But it's probably about time we got it over with and hired the handyman. A downer. Perfect, you sound like just the kind of person I won't work in my establishment. Moving down the list, apparently arcane study is a thing. I have no idea what this is, so we're gonna throw one of these right here. We'll make it pretty big, just because it sounds kind of exciting. And it even comes with one of those rats. I will take care of that in a second. Not even sure what these do. I'm pretty sure people are mostly just gonna throw up a nose. We give them another one of those. I'll put a dance floor out here. Does anyone else want a dance floor? You know what? The rats are kind of growing on me. They're kind of a nice feature. It's going to be what we're known for. Students of violence and justice love getting physical. Gymnasiums have three types of equipment to keep them happy and tired. Well, I want them excited and violent. I don't want a gym. An admin's office, however, sounds like something that would help me out. And we got another earthquake, which has pretty much destroyed everything ever. The handyman was probably getting bored anyways. Since everything's already on fire, we might as well just add a fireplace because it can't get any worse. And maybe one over here too to remind the bartenders who they are. Mostly just because I can do this with them. An archery range? This sounds like a very dangerous thing to have in a tavern. I like it. The longer it is, the better. I wish I had known that from the beginning. Otherwise, I would have planned the whole thing around it. 
You think it's gonna be long enough though? Wait a sec, I think we got a fight on our hands. My money's on the guy in the red hood. Oh, maybe not. Can we take bets on this? And he seems to have struck a victory somehow and made it rain all at the same time. And he's so defeated that he's crawling out of the bar. And we have one very happy long archery room. Next step, guest rooms. These people probably actually need somewhere to stay while they're here. That is pretty much the point of a tavern. And for some reason, we even get to pick how much this room costs. Well, if it sells for 795 gold, the price of the room per night should be obviously at least 795 gold. Why is there an army of clones walking into my pub? I'm not that worried about it. What I'm more worried about is the fact that I can only do this one tick at a time. The earthquake isn't really helping this, thank you. A shared guest room? Well, that sounds like trouble. Let's get a few of those. Uh, we'll make it a... Nah, we'll make it a big one. That way it's really expensive. And we caught one of these guys. Anyways. Oh, bunk beds. Those are fun. Oh, I wonder how many people we can fit in here. Well, we managed to get in three bunk beds, and that is more bunk beds than any room should ever have. This place is getting pretty dirty pretty quick, and I couldn't be happier. I think we need another bartender. Our coke, you're hired. I don't know why, but we do. Plus, a reception desk. Almost like I planned it, but plot twist, it's backwards. That no doubt comes with its very own clerk. S. Morley, you're too expensive. Pretty decent skill, even more potential. You're hired. Do whatever it is you're supposed to do. Why do we have a man on fire? Local guest, definitely drunk. I've had better mead. Oh, and he's throwing up everywhere. Well, he had a good time. And good news, he's able to drink more again. So get him back to the bar and let's give him some more alcohol. Hey, another guy's really enjoying the drinks here. As far as I'm concerned, the more of these guys we have, the better we're doing. The mail is starting to pile up and that's starting to stress me out, so we're not going to check that anymore. Or are we? Accepting more reservations? Absolutely. We'll take everyone involved. Not sure if we can accommodate that many, but we'll make it work. Now, we don't have a maiden. I don't know what they do, but we'll take one. I don't know why so many people decide they want to puke in this hall. There's only two pukes in this hall and there's like 10 over in this one. We can charge for the restroom? Absolutely. Wow, we're going to charge 100 gold for usage. That means the bathroom actually pays for itself with 37 people using it. And with the amount of people we currently have in here, that thing's going to pay for itself in no time. We are finally getting pretty busy though. I'm going to need to add a few more tables in, probably down this hallway. But other than that, I think we're almost at where we want to be already. We'll just kind of hide all that puke underneath the tables. And I should probably start paying more attention to things because I have a lot of stuff on fire right now. The clerk quit because the requested raise was not granted. Well, if they sent it to me in the mail, there's no way I'm going to see it. But oh no, the clerk quit. Whatever will I do now? Such an inconvenience to have to replace him. This one's probably cheaper anyway. I feel like nobody actually stays overnight here though. They just show up, drink, throw up, and then leave. Maybe also lighting stuff on fire on the way. At least someone's actually enjoying the archery range finally. That was kind of the centerpiece of this entire thing. Also, the shared guest room is worth 1,000 gold. Yeah, we're gonna need at least $500 per stay. Then again, maybe I'm looking at this all wrong. We need rock bottom prices for now. We need to undercut the competition. We're gonna charge one gold because we just can't make it free. The bathroom, however, is still gonna be very expensive. You're free to stay and drink. Just good luck using the bathroom. It's gonna cost you. We have a whole bunch of reservations piling up, so we're going to go ahead and accept them all because that's just customers. A raise would be great. Not sure if this was the guy that quit or not, but yeah, you're doing fine, whoever you are. Income, 5,400 gold. Expenses, 13,000 gold. So we're actually closing the gap. The reason we're not making any money is nobody actually wants to stay here. The reputation as a manager is dangerously low and I'm worried the Lord will fire you. Well, that's what you're here to do, my friend. You do the worrying, I'll do the management stuff. Since it looks like I'm on the way out anyway, let's make some administrative choices that's really going to push me over the edge. Oh, we can only pick one at a time? Okay, well, we're going to do those because that sounds like fun. Liquor is going to go down in price to one gold. That way everyone's going to have a good time. Maybe we'll turn down the restroom a little bit. We will charge one gold for that though because that is important. And while we're at it, we'll charge one gold for the food. It won't even let me do it anymore. We get as low as 10 gold. I'm not sure if that's a coincidence or not, but we have some new customers. I think I see the answer now. We're going to charge, say, 25 gold per restroom visit, but the drinks and everything are really cheap. That way everyone comes in because the drinks are cheap, only to find out that the bathroom is really expensive. That's just good business. Are we need more bartenders again. Are they quitting? Are they dying? Are they getting fired? Look at the mess of people, though. We're doing great. We need to hire a few more, uh, probably everything. 
And we have an earthquake. Luckily, I paid a lot of money for the scroll of protection or whatever it was, so we're actually good. This really is about as perfect as these kind of things can get. Oh, these are who make the food. No wonder no one is getting fed yet. Still not sure we've had any guests stay even one night. The bar seems to be a popular choice though, we're getting that part right. Well, there isn't really much I can do. They want more room to do stuff and drink. Obviously, they're waiting for the bar, but I can't remove the archery range. That's the centerpiece. And something happened. Probably not good news considering that was supposed to be endless mode. Why does that man look so tiny? He's adorable. I'm assuming we won then because endless mode isn't supposed to end unless you win. Nope. A turkey. A little man got hit by an even littler turkey. Interesting. Because of your incompetent management, Lord Peter fired you and threw a whole chicken at your poor dwarf. I had a dwarf the whole time and no one told me? No wonder my bar failed. I wasn't utilizing my dwarf properly. 